This is The Last of Us Part 2 at 4K native, maximum graphical settings, and DLAA transformer model. It looks so good, so clean and crisp, it's truly a visual treat. It's a very noticeable improvement over the regular CNN model by the way, and I'll show you guys the difference in just a moment. Now, you also may not realize it just yet, but I've locked the gameplay to 60 frames per second. Now, why would you do that, you might be asking? Why not unlock the frame rate and enjoy a high refresh rate experience with VRR? And that'd be a very good question for a PC game. While I personally prefer to lock the frame rate when I game, I like a more consistent experience, it is a valid question. Playing with an unlocked frame rate and VRR on PC is very common, and there's nothing wrong with it. But in this game, that can be a bit of an issue. So let me show you what it is, and then we'll go over the Transformer and CNN model as well. Let's rewind back and start where I started, at the very beginning of the game. And we'll go over the settings real quick here. We're playing at 4K with DLAA, and I'm using an RTX 4090 with the Ryzen 9800X 3D. Very high graphical preset, which maxes all the graphics except for anisotropic filtering. It sets it to times 8 for whatever reason. I set it to times 16, and I've disabled film grain, chromatic abomination as I like to call it. And we get over 80 FPS or so uh, looking ahead. And then if you look behind, well, the frame rate jumps all the way to 120 FPS. So frame rate can vary a bit. And the game can also be quite a bit CPU demanding as well in some areas. For example, here, I also tried DLSS quality and it stayed around the same frame rate. So this area can be quite a, a bit CPU heavy. Now, if you look at the frame times and our frame rate, well, it looks very good, right? We don't have any stutters or anything like that. But for whatever reason, pan in the camera looks like it's stuttering, almost like the screen is tearing, but not all the time, sometimes. And you can see this very clearly when looking at these trees. Moving the camera left and right, it looks like the screen is tearing, almost like VRR isn't working. And that was an issue that stood out to me right away. And again, you can look at the frame times, it's perfectly smooth. This should not be happening, but it does. And that's why I locked the frame rate to 60 through the NVIDIA app. And I also enabled VSync through the NVIDIA app because I tried using Riva Tuner Statistics Server or MSI Afterburner to lock it to 60 or 70 or whatever. And it still looked like it was stuttering a bit. Now, it may not look it in the recording, but while I was playing, it was buttery smooth, very consistent. It actually was better to run it with this VSync 60 frame rate lock for me than leaving the frame rate unlocked. It looked really good. To best show you guys the differences between the CNN and Transformer model, I'll be using DLSS quality here. And we have CNN model on the left and Transformer model on the right. And the biggest difference is, well, there's noticeable flicker with the CNN model, something that does not happen with the Transformer model. You can see this in Joel's beard especially, and you could imagine with all the grass and trees that are in the game, personally for me, I find flicker or shimmering to be quite distractive. So having the Transformer model, and especially applying that to DLAA, I mean, it looks so consistent, so good, so steady. It's really noticeable, uh, at least to me. I mean, we all have uh, different things that uh, annoy us to some extent, but a clean, consistent picture, I think is something that everyone could get behind. During the cutscenes, it can be quite noticeable, but when you're actually playing, it's a lot more noticeable, as you can clearly tell here with DLSS quality CNN on the left and DLSS quality Transformer on the right, with the amount of fine geometry and high level of detail that's in this game, be it grass or leaves and trees, uh, the Transformer model makes a very noticeable difference for sure. So. I would recommend using it. I mean, all RTX GPUs can use it, so 
I don't see why you wouldn't. And the same thing, by the way, applies to DLAA as well, because you are using the same algorithm, but instead of upscaling, you're using it for anti-aliasing. So maybe it's less noticeable difference between the two, but it is noticeable uh, as well. The transformer model is definitely more consistent. Now that said, it's not perfect. And for the little amount of time that I played, I did find a, a, an issue that stood out to me. And that's ghosting. So the transformer model can exhibit a little bit of ghosting with some distant objects when the camera's not really moving. And this has been an issue in other games as well. Uh, so it's nothing really unexpected, but it's also not nearly as bad as it is in some other games. Like for example, if you look at Joel's hair uh, as he walks away, Notice that there's like a little bit of a ghosting trail behind again nothing crazy but I noticed it so I figured I'd point it out and that's something that the CNN model for example does not have uh, this uh, ghosting issue but anyway getting back to 4k with DLAA transformer model the game looks incredible flickering and blurring in games has almost been eliminated and I'm all for it guys I love me a good consistent fluid image that's crisp. And while I settled on a lock 60 FPS, which I'm perfectly happy with by the way, the game does need fixing because running with an unlocked frame rate and VRR pan in the camera should be consistently smooth. So something has to be going on here and I hope Nixis can fix it as I'm sure they probably will. Now, I'll be looking at FSR 4 in a future video, as that is supported through the Adrenaline software for this game, and maybe we can compare it to DLSS 3 and 4 as well. I think I'm curious to see how they'd compare, but that'll be it for this video. Just a quick look at the very beginning, more videos will follow up in the future. Thanks for watching, and please like the video if you liked it, and subscribe for more. I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye Do you remember the joke? What is the downside to eating a clock? It's time consuming. That's so dumb. <laughs> yeah. Can I get over?